All right. Shalom. I want to first begin by giving all praise, all honor, and all glory unto my power, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Wadash. And Yahweh is the true holy name of the Heavenly Father. Who this world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh Shai, being the true name of our Lord and our Savior, who this world ignorantly calls Jesus, and the Rechak Wadash is the Holy Spirit. I also want to give double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who are the true leaders of the nation of Israel, that Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, has set up through the Holy Spirit to lead and to guide and also to be great examples for the nation of Israel. I also want to say Shalom to the 144,000 men who are laboring and toiling in his worth for the sake of Yahweh Bashem El Shai. I also want to say Shalom to the innumerable multitude, the men, women, and children who Yahweh Bashem El Shai will show mercy upon in these last days. I'm the brother Gobar from the GMS West Palm Beach Camp. I'm coming back with another Lord's willing, edifying lesson to feed the sheep of Yahweh Bashem El Shai and to the best of my ability. And this lesson is going to be concerning John chapter 3 and verse 16, all right, which is one of the most misinterpreted scriptures throughout the whole Bible. All right, so with this lesson, I'm going to be breaking down John uh, 3 and 16. All right, we're going to go into this word world. All right, because when you read the, the scriptures, when you read the scriptures, you have to go into the Hebrew and you also have to go into the Greek. All right, and that's why our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, they stress that heavily. You got to go into the meaning of these words. Got to go into the root of these words. All right. So before I get John chapter 3 and 16, uh, there's three uh, worlds in, in the Greek. All right. First, you have cosmos. You have eon and you have oikomeni. All right. Eon being uh, dealing with time. Oikomeni is dealing with uh the whole inhabited earth. All right. You forgive me for the background noise. All right. Here in the backyard. All right. Letting my dog roam around. So again, excuse me if you hear any uh, background noise. But um, yeah, as I was saying before, you have three words for for the word world in Greek. Again, it's cosmos. You have eon, and you have oinkimini. Okay, so we're going to go to the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16, and it reads, verse, uh, John 3 and 16, For the Most High so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. All right, and who's the, who is Yahweh's only begotten son? Yahweh Shai. All right. And that name literally means he saves and he delivers. Okay. And all throughout the scriptures, the Lord uh, tells you who he's coming to save. And before we go into that, let's, let's go to Matthew 1 and verse 21. Again, this is Matthew 1 and 21. And she shall bring forth a son. And thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai. For he sh shall save his people from their sins. Okay? So the Lord, he's, he's coming to save his people from their sins. All right? And who was the law, statutes, and commandments given unto? It wasn't given unto the whole entire world. It was given unto a, a specific group of people. So let's go to the book of Psalms. Psalms 147 and verse 19. Proven. The Lord gave law, statutes, and commandments unto a, a, a specific group of people. All right. This is uh, Psalms 147 and 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob 
his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. See, so the Lord, he showed the law, statutes, and commandments, the judgments unto only the Israelites. He didn't say the whole inhabited earth, okay, what would be um, oinkamini. No, he gave it to a, a specific group of people. All right, verse 20. He have not dealt so with any nation, right? So the Lord, he didn't deal with any other nation. And the Lord says in Malachi 3 and 6, that I am the Lord, I change not. You see? And, and, and a lot of people think that the Lord uh, changed. A lot of people think there's a difference between the Old and the New Testament. No. It's, it's, the Lord um, always dealt with, with one nation, and that's the Israelites. It says, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, right? So the other nations, they don't know the judgments of the Heavenly Father. Okay? So why do you think the only uh, nation of people as a whole who got enslaved? Why do you think that's only pertaining to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? Okay? And again, it's not about your skin color. Right? It's about your bloodline. It's about the, the, the seed, the seed of your father. Okay, and through over the years, generation after generation, our people, we had sex with the different other nations. All right, so if um, if I had sex with a so-called white woman, the baby is going to come out uh, looking like a so-called white baby. Okay, and if, if my son has sex with another white woman and, it, and that cycle continues to go on and on, the, the lineage... Uh, the lineage remains the same, but the appearance is going to look like the, the appearance of the other nations. So it's not about your skin color. It's about the spirit. It's about your bloodline. Okay? And the scripture says, um, judge not according to, a, to, to the appearance. So, yeah, we don't look based off of a man or a woman's skin complexion and be like, yeah, you are, you are so-called... Uh, Edomite, you're going into slavery. No, it's, it goes deeper than that. It's about your spirit. It's about your bloodline. Okay? But um, let's go back to the book of John. John 3 and 16. You uh, know, an example of our people mixed among the other nations. Look at Blake Griffin. All right? Look at Blake Griffin's son. All right? The, the, he, Blake Griffin is Israelite. From the tribe of Levi, he he today he uh, he's called he's a so-called Haitian, all right. And you look at Blake Griffin's son; he looked like a straight-up uh, uh, Edomite, but he's an Israelite. Okay, you have Conor, Conor McGregor, all right. You have um, uh, what's some other guys? Larry Bird. Okay, you got Eminem. You got um, um some other guys. Not coming to my name. Uh, you got Steve Nash, you know. So there's a lot of our people that look like the other nations, but but they're indeed Israelites. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the book of John three and sixteen. It says, "For the Most High so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life." read that one more time. John 3 and 16. For the Most High so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Okay, and that's the point. So I want to go into the the the, uh, the Greek word for the word world. Okay, and that's where a lot of our people they just take everything for face value or they think the world and they think it's talking about the whole inhabit the earth no man okay you got different worlds you know, you got an animal world you got a sea world you have a sports world all right you got an entertainment world so there's different worlds okay so let's go into this word world to get a deeper understanding strong's g 2889 cosmos cosmos all right cosmos or you can say cosmos and it says, um, an apt and harmonious arrangement or constitution, order or government. You see, so I brought out 
the book of Psalms, the 147, verse 19 and verses 20. Okay, that harmonious arrangement. All right, the Lord, he made a covenant with the nation of Israel. Okay, and we're going to look up the word arrangement. So it says, so it just say a process, a result, arranging, being arranged. So that was pretty much it. So that word world is in, in, in that Greek, John 3, 16 is cosmos. Okay. And it says, see if you got anything else. Yep. So that was pretty much it. Okay, so we, we understand that now. The, the, the Greek word for the word world is a uh, cosmos, all right, which is an apt and harmonious arrangement. Okay, so um, we're going to read this John 3 16 one more time. This is John 3 and 16. For the Most High so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Okay, and we're going to get a scripture. Um, Here in um, Matthew, this is Matthew chapter 15 and verse 24. And this is New Testament, red letter, Yahushai speaking. It says, but he answered and said, I am not sick, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right. So the Lord, he said, I am not sent, but un unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right. So when the Lord was on the scene, all right, he was only looking uh, he was only preaching the word unto the Israelites, okay? And those Gentiles that's mentioned in the New Testament, those Gentiles are Israelites that scattered uh, uh, amongst the different uh, nations, okay? And just like before we uh, woke up to who we are, before we woke up to this truth, before we started calling on our names like Yahweh by Shai, we was in the, we was Gentiles, okay? We was following the um the ways of America, right? We were shaving our beards. We was eating pork. We was eating shrimp. We was eating crab, lobster. We was celebrating our birthdays, okay? So we was we was walking as the Gentiles, okay? So And that's what Christians don't understand, okay? And that's really the, the, um, the, 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 the trickery from the devil, which is Esau Edom, right? Because Esau Edom know who we are okay and let's prove that Esau Edom knows who we are let's go to the book of Psalms 83 starting at 3 they have taken crafty counsel against thy people right and who is that they speaking about that's speaking about Esau Edom the so called white nation right they have taken crafty counsel against our people alright one of those crafty counsels crafty counsels are setting up these churches all right, and they pushing forth this these false doctrines, right? You go into the church. They they tell you the name of the Lord is Jesus. They they they, they paint the image of a so-called white man, right? They tell you that God loves everybody. They told you that uh, God only hates uh, sin. He don't hate the sinner, right? All these things are are, are trickeries. It's crafty counsel being taken against our people, right? Because at the end of the day. Yeah, our people are wicked. But at the end of the day, our people, Esau, Edom knows that our people, that they have a zeal. They have a zeal. The scripture says, but it's not according to knowledge. Right? It says, and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more remembrance. Right? And it was a certain time period where the Lord uh, um, made that happen. Okay, through Esau Edom, right? The name of Israel was no more in remembrance. But the Lord raised up our apostles and elders in 1969. And and, and, on, and now we're fast forward to 2023. The, uh, our people are standing up on their feet. All right, our people calling on the names of Yahweh, Bashem, El Shai. Okay, brothers are out there preaching. Brothers are, are uh, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay, but they took that crafty counsel. Okay, and they, and they gave us black culture. They gave us uh, Latin culture, right? 
they, they, they put drugs in your community, okay? They put churches on every block, especially in the hoods. You go to uh, hoods and, 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 um, and, 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 and um, so-called black areas, right? Especially in, in Chicago, in these major uh, cities, there's churches on every corner, liquor stores on every corner, right? Drugs, crack, right? Right, you think in 1980, they um, introduced crack into our people, right? Those are ways that they can destroy us, cut us off from being a nation, all right? And it says, verse 5, they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee, right? Because at the end of the day, not just Esau, Edom is our enemy. All the nations are our enemies, right? You, you go to the corner store, there's a East, middle, uh, middle Eastern there right selling you uh blunt wrappers selling our people cigarettes right you got um so-called chinese man come up in the hood and, and and uh come up in the hood and establish chinese restaurants right esau Edom, he fund these different nations to come up in our hoods and they get rich off america uh, they get rich off the israelites right because they Refer to us as liquid gold, right? Uh, Chinese man selling rat at, at, at the at the Chinese restaurant. He's selling you duck. He's selling you all the things that's abominable because they know that we are the children of Israel. Okay, and they know sin. They know that sin is our kryptonite. Okay, and let's get into the scripture. Let's go to the book of James four and verse. Let's start at seven. Eight is the point. It says, submit yourselves, therefore, to the most high. Resist the devil and he will flee. Right. And that's that's what we got to do now that we know who we are. Now that we waking up to who we are, waking up into our heritage. Right. We got to we got to uh, resist the devil and he will flee. OK. And it says, draw verse eight, draw nigh to the most high and he will draw nigh to you. Right, man. So we can. We got to draw an eye to the most high, right? But the other nations, what they trying to do? Keep us farther away from your how about you now, shy, right? Through these philosophies, through these, through the food, selling you abomination, right? Why every time it's a piece of commercial, whether it's Taco Bell, I mean, not Taco Bell, whether it's Papa John's, whether it's Domino's, whether it's Little Caesars, all the time, it's a, it's a, pepperoni pizza never a cheese pizza but a pepperoni right why is that because they know that we're not supposed to keep it i mean we're not supposed to eat it they know that we have a dietary law to keep okay and let's rewind back into slavery why in slavery did they not let us read if you got caught reading they will uh, uh beat you they will chop your hand off and uh, you keep doing it they'll put you to death why is that because they're trying to keep us away from our power. Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Okay? Let's read this again. James 4 and 8. Draw nigh to the Most High, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Right? So how do we cleanse our hands? By putting away the wickedness. Putting away the wicked, the wicked um, customs that we learn here in America. And throughout the four corners of the earth where the Israelites are scattered. Okay? We, we, we don't go to these uh, church houses, right? We don't uh, celebrate these pagan holidays, right? We keep the dietary law. We keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability, you see? And this is how we draw an eye to get how about Chanel Shah, right? And it ain't easy. It's a fight. It's a fight, all right? We in this wicked-ass flesh, right? We surround around these demons, Hey, but the Lord gave us the tools. He gave us the names to call upon. He gave us brothers. He gave us the apostles and elders, the great millstone. All right, let's read verse 9. It says, be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. All right, man, so we got to be afflicted and mourn and weep. Okay? And that's that's the part of uh, that straight gate. Serve me how about smile shy. Yeah, we're going we gonna to be afflicted. Lord gonna uh, put hell on us, all right. The Lord gonna try us, 
okay? We woke up to this truth. Now, now we're in a mournful state, all right? Because we're desiring righteousness. We're desiring that righteous world wherein dwelleth righteousness, okay? But, um, you know, I just wanted to bring that lesson out through the spirit, all right? Just meditating on that throughout the day, man, all right? Because hey, a lot of people, that's a stumbling block. John 3.16 is a stumbling block. And matter of fact, we got to uh, close out with this final scripture. It's Romans 11 and 4. I mean, uh, Romans 11 and 7. And it reads, what then? Israel have not attained that which he seeketh for. Right, because right now we're, we're at the end. We're at the end of Esau, Edom's uh, rulership. All right? We're at the end of this world. All right. Again, but when you go into that word world, in this in this sense, it's, it's speaking about eon, okay, which is which is a, a time, a reigns time. All right, and at the end, uh, we at the end, and everybody's searching for answers. Everybody's searching for the truth, right? But only the elect is going to find the real truth. All right, because ninety five percent is not the truth. Ninety eight percent is not the truth 99.9 .9 percent is not the truth all right the elect will find the truth all right but the rest of our people has been blinded so yeah they're gonna they're gonna get caught up in these different uh doctrines and philosophies and these ways of living whether it's being a buddhist whether it's being a uh, a christian whether it's being a seven day adventist whether it's being a uh uh what's it uh uh, Rastafarian, right? And it says, but the election have attained it, and the rest were blinded. You see? Because the Lord is only dealing with the elect. Okay? The, the elect will uh, come into the truth. Right? The scripture says, my sheep hear my voice. Right? But the rest of our people are blinded. Right? They're going to have to be destroyed on this side. Yahweh Shai is only coming to save the remnant and that's not nothing new going to the time of Noah the Lord only delivered eight souls alright when Solomon and Gomorrah got destroyed the Lord only, only delivered Lot and his, and his two uh, daughters see so the Lord always keep his circle small his circle tight okay verse 8 according as it is written the Most High has given them the spirit of slumber right so the rest of the world has been given the spirit of slumber. That's not talking about literal, that's spiritual. They spiritually drunk, they spiritually sleep. Okay, all these things going on in the, in the world. Okay, you have this, the, the, uh, the, the sun, the solar flare in the sun today. All right, you're seeing the, uh, the war going on with Israel and Hamas. All right, you're seeing the different earthquakes. You see the inflation, right? But none of these people, they not, they not linking these things up to Bible prophecy, all right? They're not seeing that, damn, our Lord is about to return, all right? It says, and it says, eyes that they should not see, all right? They don't have those spiritual eyes to see, all right? They don't have, they don't, they don't see the signs. They don't see the tokens that the Lord warned us about. And it says, and the ears that they should not hear unto this day. Right, because the Lord, he speaks through his servants, the prophets. Right? Amos 3 and 7. And you got men all across the world coming in the spirit of Yahweh Bashanah Shah, bringing forth this truth. Okay? And only the elect is going to hear those men. Right? But really they hear Yahweh Bashanah Shah. All right? It says, verse 9. And David saith, let their table be made a snare. And a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. All right, so the Lord, He put in these snares. What's a snare? A trap. Okay. He's setting up these different stumbling blocks. Hey, John 3:16 is a major stumbling block. The name of the Lord is a major stumbling block. The Lord only dealing with um, a certain amount of men. That's a, that's a stumbling block. The name of the Lord, Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, that's a stumbling block. See, well, the elect, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to jump over those obstacles. Okay. And they're going to find the truth. 
All right, verse 10, finish off. It says, let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow their their back always. All right, so our, our people's eyes are dark, all right? It's voided of light. You know, they don't have the light, man. All right, and what's the light? It's truth. It's wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. What you're going to need in these times that we're in now, and especially in the times of Jacob's trouble, all right? Because it's going to be spiritually dark out here. Spiritually and literal, so those that have the truth, the Lord going to guide them. He's going to be their they spiritual GPS. Okay, so I just wanted to bring that lesson out through the spirit while I was on my spirit. Hit the Wadi Al Basham out shot for giving me the spirit to make this lesson. Close out by giving all praise, all honor, and all glory unto my power, Yahweh Bahashom, Yahweh Shai Bahashom Rechakwadash. Want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. I want to say peace and blessings unto the hopeful elect, the 144,000 men who are laboring and toiling in his work for the sake of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. I also want to say Shalom to the innumerable multitude, which consists of the men, women, and children who Yahweh Bashim Al Shai will show his mercy upon in these last days. The Wadi Al Bashim Al Shai, again, for giving me the spirit of truth. The Wadi Al Bashim Al Shai, for giving me the spirit that were Chakwadash to make this lesson. Lord is willing. Until the next lesson, I'm gonna say Shalom and the Bob of all, DTA, Kwame Ashala, Shalom, and Shabbat Shalom.